You know, in so many ways, we are so fortunate to live where we live. Because when we do a cook show like this, we can actually go to Vancouver, British Columbia and get some of the greatest cooks in the world. Our Canadian friends always come down with something very interesting. And Christina Sheriff is coming down with cher cheddar chutney tarts. I, I must admit, I've never heard of those. But I, tarts I love and ch ch uh, cheddar I love and chutney I'm not sure about. So let's go ahead and okay. try it, okay? Well, they're very tasty, very good, and very easy. Oh, we like those. And quite often you'll have most of the ingredients already in your in your home. And it's best to get this room temperature. That's just cream cheese, right? This is cream cheese. Okay. Mm, anything with cream cheese yes. in my book is Very cream. good, huh? It's, yes. uh, <laughs> it's good. You can never have enough cheese. Right. And, well, uh, I'm from Wisconsin, so absolutely. So there we are. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that it's should very do. Very soft. Okay. There, it should be very soft. And mm -hmm. if you wouldn't mind cutting up the onions, quite a sure. small dice. Okay. okay. And I will finish These? Okay. grating the cheddar to make. You want it there? Okay. It makes a cup, so I think I need a bit more. Okay. Yes, it's so easy and so tasty. And you know, I, I, I like this kind of a, 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 a I don't even know. Grater? What the, the grater? Yeah, the grater, yeah. but some of them you have to hold up. Yes. And I, you know, sometimes it can get a little bit slippery out there. It does and get this slippery. And this right down on the board is a wonderful way to do it, folks. It is, and it also doesn't take up much room in the in the cupboards. Right on. <laughs> true. If you, if you have a small kitchen and you don't have a lot of storage space, that's, that's then true. you can only yep. have your favorite things. Yes. It really helps to have everything not take and up much room. It seems the longer we go, space becomes more and more important. We tend to collect more and more we, stuff. We I think that's the issue, George. Yeah. <laughs> My kitchen looks like a it. collection plate. And that should do it. Okay. That's a cup. You don't need this back? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. That's, we'll that's just fine. Just that off to the side then. And the onions. And now I'm just going to add this. Do the onions oh. go in there? Um, once I get them. Um, okay. And George, you can have this sure, as well. Sure, I got it. And once I get this all mm, mushed up together. Oh, See, my. more cheese. Yeah. So cheese just for you, George. <laughs> you want me to help and Carol. There we go. Oh, nice. And, and um, well, that's pretty stiff, doesn't it? it gets... Well, yeah, I should have left it out. It's a little chilly in the studio today, so yeah. the cheese really doesn't is. want to be as soft it, as it, it should, should it be. It should be a little bit softer, but it, it doesn't matter. It, it's softening right now. It's yeah, that, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. And now we can add the onions. Okay. And the is this? this is Major Gray's mango chutney, mm. and this is quite. This is a third of a cup, and it, it's quite fine. It's oh, that's nice. It, it doesn't have any big chunks in it. Mm -hmm. There you go. You can have a taste. Okay, we don't. I'll leave some for sure. you. Sure. What the heck? Um, but if it does have big chunks, chop it up very finely. These because are small these are, tops, yeah, you don't want a big and you don't want a big, a big chunk of chutney. If you've never tried tasting that. Do it because you're, you're gonna. That's really good. It so. is. It's and it it adds a very interesting depth of flavor to food. Mm -hmm. Indeed, it would. Indeed, it would. And may I have the spatula? The what? Spatula. Ah, here you go. Yeah. It's a bit sticky. So is this a recipe that that uh, you made up, Christina? No, I I um, had it in a cookbook from a chef from Toronto, mm -hmm. Rose Murray, and uh, I used to make it quite often. And then I lost the recipe, oh. <laughs> and I just was thinking, well, I'll just have to do without it, and I found it again. Oh, so, thank goodness for so that. So really, all we need now is uh, a garlic clove, okay. chopped up, and, we got and that minced. Right here. Once again, pre-measuring makes it so much easier to oh, get the recipe it does. Done. It, it makes does. it go really you know, fast. Right here, right now. There we go. You actually don't want too, too much garlic because it, it can, it can taste, take over, it? yeah. And the same with the onions. If you want more onions, that's fine. But I find that those two big ones are just, just fine. Okay. And what um, else do we need? Two teaspoons of sherry, mm. or you could use apple juice. Sherry. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. And um, a teaspoon of curry powder. 
And this is Indian curry powder, correct? Yes, yes. This is actually a, a, Van oh, a Vancouver that. Island blend, but it's good. Oh, it's great. like taking a little trip. Yes. Oh, yeah. Isn't that nice? You know, when everything that you put into a, a dish smells or tastes really good, guess what? The dish is going to smell good and feel <laughs> and taste good, too. And really just a pinch of cayenne. Okay. Is that to taste more than Yes, that? I was okay. just going to say, if your chutney is a really hot one, you might not want to put And the curry so powder cayenne. sometimes adds and sometimes a little the heat curry. as well. Yeah, and then just, just a dash of Worcestershire sauce. So this looks very much like a British recipe to me. The it cheese, could be. It the could curry, be, yes. the Worcestershire, all of those things yeah. that they truly love. I love cooking with Worcestershire. I, I can't do pronounce too. It, but I enjoy <laughs> cooking with it. Worcestershire is good. <laughs> and that is basically it. Okay. Wow. That's how easy it is. So what's Indeed. the next thing we do? We just fill the tarts. Now, I believe the original recipe called for making your own pastry. Of course it um, did. I don't Right. Do if that. you're making these <laughs> tiny ones... Yes, then the frozen kind are just fine. Uh, so you, one you time can, I was using these. Right? Yes, you yes, can buy them. Okay. yes, mm -hmm. and they're in the frozen section. One time I thought I was going to be really smart, and so I took the tart shells out of the little pans before I baked them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they ran away on you? Uh, they just sort of <laughs> turned into cookies. That <laughs> <laughs> And Don't one, do that. Gee, look at that, flat cups. Yes. One, one thing I have found out is. Um, if you fill these too too high, mm -hmm. they tend to puff up and then collapse. Uh huh. So I basically just fill them up to the rim. Okay. I think that's probably and plenty that, on here. Oh yeah. So just fill it to the rim. Just just to the rim. And these are thawed now, that correct? The way it is now? Oh sure. There's okay. nothing in there that will harm you. <laughs> oh. I don't know what cooking does to this, but I'll tell you if you don't want to cook it don't because this is delicious. You could use that as a little spread. There's nothing raw in there. Well, if I don't have enough tarts to fill, I usually end up that is so good. eating them. Putting them on a little cracker or yeah. crostini. Yes. That would be very nice. It is good. And, you know, I think you could also use puff, frozen puff pastry mm -hmm. if you wanted to cut yes, it up could. and put it in the little um, tart pans that you can buy. Sure, that would be very nice. Well, this is so really let's pretend these are let's full. Let's pretend these are all full. And, and you bake them at 400 for about 15 minutes, depending okay. on your oven. You want okay. them fairly brown, the pastry done. Well, I'll tell you, just, just uh, I guess raw would be the, the word you're looking for. Uncooked. <laughs> but if that was delicious just that way. Yes, they are good. Without they are cooking good. them at all. They are good. And you could put them on crostini. You could do and through the magic oh, of television. Things. This is what we have. George, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, I knew that. And I usually reheat them in their oh, little cups. Because okay, they so you can make these ahead, I'm yeah. assuming. Yes. How far ahead? Um, I've made them a day ahead mm -hmm. and uh, just refrigerated them. And I've also made the filling two days ahead. Oh, very nice. Do these have to sit in the refrigerator like overnight or anything like that? No. Okay. They don't have to. You can they make them delicious. right away. They are delicious. Friends like these, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's awesome. laughs> I'm excited to try this. Mm. Yes, All they're, those they're very good. You're like it. And they have, they have a tang as well mm -hmm. as a nice soft cheese. Have you ever tried making this in one big dirt? No, I haven't. There you go. I could try that. Oh, isn't that good? That would be good. That, you know, when you can serve your friends, serve yourself something that good in this amount of time. You got yourself a winner, folks, and it's just that simple. Christina Sheriff from Vancouver, Very British Columbia, nice thank you so much for coming down and, and oh, giving no us this welcome. wonderful recipe. It's so nice to meet you. Take advantage of it, get the book, because you can do this in your own kitchen, and you will be the hero in your home, as Christina is in her home. Thank you so very much. Welcome. I have a little more bites here, <laughs> you know, while things are going on. Mm. Good.